second method to recover our EC2 private key. So we have a EC2 send SSH public key method. Okay, so for that, uh, so we have to install CLA. So camera interface, AWS uh, dedicated camera interface. So first I'll go to my uh, console or I'll go to my AWS website, then I will install camera interface on my system. So let me do that. I'll go to my Chrome browser, then I will search AWS CLA for Windows. So if we already installed, you can skip no problem, but I will install this AWS CLA for Windows. Installing, updating latest version, okay. Come down. So I'll select Windows. So copy this MSXI, MSI execution command. I'll go to my command prompt. I'll paste over it. And this automatically take, take over. We don't need to do anything. So preparing to install. So once it installed, then uh, I need to give a credential. So for that, I need to create a user. Or else I can take my root user credential, no problem. But every time we have to give a list credential. But in this scenario, I will give full access for my user because uh, like looking forward, I'm going to use this user. That's what because I have to do Terraform project and all. So that's what the user should be have all the uh, privileges. So I will give a full admin like uh, full access user. I'll go to my uh, console. I will search for a user. I am. So I'll go to I am service. I'll create a user with a full permission. So meanwhile, they will download and they will install this package and all. Right, so status you can see that so they just are getting creating everything. I'll go to users and I'll create a users, add a user. So this username is a mic, so we can put any name, no problem. So I will appeal for access key next permission. So as of now, I don't have any uh, existing group or existing users, I'll go with attach existing policies directly. So select administrator privilege. I can see that this is a job function. AWS predefined uh, policy. Review, create a review and uh, automatically it will create a user and policy. Now. Yeah. So I'll copy the access key. So then now we have to wait to complete this CLA. Okay. So we have to accept this is. So now it is installing. Yeah. If I go to my command prompt, you'll be able to find one more thing, AWS. If I execute AWS, let's see what happens. See, the term AWS is not recognized as the name of CMD let. In the sense, internal and external, there is no command that is named as AWS, right? So that's what actually we getting this error. So once I install this, then we will not get any error. So we'll get uh, the command is wrong, it seems. Okay, successfully installed. Okay, I'll just try to execute once again. We'll be get an error again. See, I'm getting error. So to avoid this, uh, we have to remove or we have to close our ter terminal again and we have to open it again. Just close and open. I will execute AWS once again AWS. So now we can see that we are not getting any error rather than we getting some see usage how to use AWS command. Okay. So if you want to get the version, you can just execute AWS AWS and uh, minus version we can execute. Okay. And this is going to print a version. Okay, sorry. Actually, we have to put minus minus version, and this will print version of AWS CLI. Successfully done. So now we have to create a profile, and for the profile, we need to create one access key, secret access key, one default region. So this we have to do. Okay. So AWS specific configure minus minus profile. So I'll call it as Mike. We can put any name. So no problem, regardless of any name. So access key we have to paste. So this is my access key which I copied from my console. So I'll just copy the secret access key as well. Just copy. So go to a console and paste over you. Okay, hit enter and paste. So we can give a default region as US East 1. Okay, anyway, I'm given priority for US East 1. So output as JSON or XML or you can give any output, no problem. Successfully done now, right? Successfully done. So now let me check the users, how many users I have in my AWS account. AWS, uh, I am list users. I can just execute this command. Let's see. Okay, unable to locate credential, that's a problem. So I will rectify the problem. AWS, 
configure list okay not set we don't have any uh, users or over here right i'll go to my environment variable environment variable so this we only need to set up first after we don't need to worry about these things automatically it will take environment variable but but, but first time whenever you're creating this so we have to do that so i'll create one more variable so I'll call it as aws uh, profile then we have to choose the profile name as mike because i created a profile mike okay so then okay then okay okay i'll go to my terminal again aws then configure list configure list you'll be able to find one user over here the username will be dilshad sorry mike aws configure list okay, you can see that mike having access key secret access key and region and uh, there are some uh, details as well so where it is stored config file right dot aws config file fine so now we have to check whether are we whether we have a pro, like a privilege to access the files or not so aws iam list users let me try so this will print the users count so i have a user over here mike user so now i am having enough privilege to access my aws account right so now what i will do here i will execute some commands so let me just put cls okay so now what i will do here see i've been already copy the command so what we have to do so i'll go to my virtual machine so this is my virtual machine recovery server key sorry recover server virtual machine so i have a key recovery key right i'll go to my virtual machine so i'll remove this key so go to download so go to this pem file and delete permanently delete successfully deleted so now i cannot access both servers right server one or server two so server one so the key was a uh, key you can see that key name is a key and server two key is recovery key but since i don't have any key as of now because all the key have been deleted so that's what i cannot access server one or server two so now we can do one thing i'll just click on my server one or server two i'll select my server one first okay that is enough so then i'll copy the public ip address so before i'll go to my uh one notepad because i have been already copy the command over i will show you what i'm going to apply over see i will apply e aws ec2 instance connect so i'm going to send one ssh public key then i'll specify the instance id and instance operating system user and available zone which available zone i created my ec2 instance then at last i have to specify the file name okay let me copy the file just copy this file i'll go to my terminal then paste okay so let me change all this file okay before one more thing actually i forgot to create a uh, ssh key see so now we don't have any private key private key we already deleted so we need to create one public and private pair so the pair i don't have so for that we have to create a key so i'll go to this command prompt so first we have to execute ssh then hyphen key gen so this is going to create one key okay so you can see that it's going to create one key uh, i'll do one thing i will just put uh, control c then i will create a key on my same directory okay ssh key gen we can specify minus f then key name is ashi okay or else i'll specify the key name is a key okay this is going to create one key and and successfully done so i'll go to ashi directory so i'll be able to find two keys over there i'll go to my local disk pc and c Users Ashik inside Ashik I'll be able to find two keys. Let's see. Yeah, key one and key two. Am I right? Yes. So now we have to push this key into my server and we can only access this key 60 seconds, maximum 70 seconds. Okay, so as so far as I'm concerned, only 60 seconds. So after 60 seconds, you cannot access the server. And I will try that as well. I'll show you the demo. So first let me copy and paste the command. So this is my command. So first I need to change the file name what is my file name key right so i need to specify the file name over here so file name is i think key so i'll specify file name contact document okay key dot pub right i'll specify this key so this file name 
so I'll just make it file okay this is my key name okay so that's good uh, then now I have to specify my availability zone so availability zone that is let me check I'll go to virtual machine AP Northeast 1A let's copy this where is my copy I don't have any copy option over here I'll do one thing use control copy and I'll just go to my virtual machine and paste uh, same as we have to change our instance ID as well right I'll remove this instance ID virtual machine I'll copy this instance ID yes instance ID so next what I have to do everything is okay uh, I'll do one more thing I'll specify my region region is a Tokyo right because I specified my uh, pro profile region as a US East one so region also important US sorry region is I have to copy the region once again copy AP Northeast 1A okay then I have to specify AP Northeast 1 that's enough then hit enter you can see that successfully the key has been uploaded I'll try to connect my server SSH minus I key name is key dot pub easy to minus user at the rate and we have to specify the public API address I'll go to my server too and uh, I think which server actually be given so let me quickly check that instance ID that is a f3 okay that is server 1 I think so yeah copy the public IP address I'll specify the public IP and okay so the key that is not a protected one I'll do one thing so we have to go to the key again and uh, where is my key where is my key so this is my key right so I'll just put my open properties then security edit I'll remove some of the users for that advanced uh, go to select any users select enable inheritance remove this user remove system user I only required one user ok then edit sorry ok edit once again go to properties you'll be able to find three users again over one minute so let me quickly just remove these all users convert all the users remove this user unnecessary users done done apply ok only one user edit let me remove all the permission of this user except read permission so that user should have one read permission to read our keys ok ok everything is ok now right so I'll execute once again so I don't have any password I'll just put control C ok now I need to enter password the problem is see this key is already expired ok see suppose uh, I've been already told so we can access this server like uh, 60 seconds after 60 seconds we cannot access right so what I will do here I will again I will push this key so to execute this command once again okay okay successfully then I'll try to execute this command once again SSH minus I keep dot pub sorry key dot private easy to minus user 131152 and publication so let's see whether you're able to access or not yeah successfully we connected to server by the help of this key see this key I created newly created key I created this key 1147 like 10 minutes ago or 5 minutes ago but my actual key that name is recovery key or key see the actual name is a key or recovery key but that key I created a couple of minutes ago even though I'm able to access see I'm able to access the server now I will exit from this so after 60 seconds I'll try again so let's see what happened so I hope it's already 60 seconds no it's not a 60 seconds so still I'm able to access my server so after 60 seconds I'll try again okay we should see what happened I'll close this first one okay? SSH and key 
So now you can see that this key actually they're not accepting my server. So directly I'm getting password prompt. I don't have any password, right? I have only key. Okay, fine. So that's what I'm telling. So if you, if you have any opportunity, you can use it. So this is also one important method, one easiest method. So rather than we uh, detaching and unmounting and mounting, uh, so all the mess, mess up activity. So, but the problem is we will be only get 60 second time. So on this time we have to create one user and we have to create a password or else we have to copy one SSS key and we have to paste over them. So that we have to do. Okay. I hope you understood. If you have any doubt on this method, please let me know. Thank you.